So in Serum 2, we now have something known as a splitter that splits our signal, the lows and the highs separate, and we have a crossover point here. Now, the very powerful thing about this for me as a sound designer that I feel like a gun stealer, to be fair, that's supplying you guys with weapons to make banger. Now I can process bass lines even further. But before we get into it, I want to show you the options you have because with the splitter, the low highs, we can also add other splitters, like a low, mid, high, which splits that more into three versions now. So you can have a multi band based effect and we also have a mid side splitter so you can target the mids separate from the sides mid being stuff that's down the center versus stuff that's super wide okay in this particular sound which is powerful but for this video i'm gonna show you guys a sick trick so we're gonna put this at 150 but we can always play around with it depending on what we decide to do this is gonna split the lows and the highs so that i can hit the highs differently from the lows so let's say i have a really nice low end with this and i don't i want to preserve that but i still want to attack the highs to store them i still want the bass to sound gritty nasty to be more expensive more complex you can target everything above 150 on a bass in order to have it sound better on laptop speakers uh be able to hear it through phones etc so here when i do this i'm targeting more of the high frequencies of the bass I'll give you guys a crazy one right now with Rectify. Right? So let's say here, right? I'm targeting everything about 150, but this doesn't sound too good. So what I can do is grab the split frequency band and move it up. And target more of the super high end in order to get this effect. Lower the drive a bit. Let's use a post. And I can give that saw bass that crunch. If I take it off, put it on. Nasty, bro. Let's fine tune it. Now, just to kind of keep going forward with this, I can now add like a chorus, a flanger without affecting my low end. Now, if I feel like as I'm doing these effects, it's either getting way too loud or way too quiet. The cool thing about Serum 2 now, too, is that the effects have their own gain knob here, which you can use to gain stage. For instance, bring it up. See what I mean? So you can do a lot of really cool stuff with that. Um, and again, the powerful thing about this is you're separating the lows away from the high frequencies. But the key thing I want to show you is with the distortion, because... This is a very valid technique to get bass lines like side piece, to get bass lines where the top part of the bass just sounds insane. In previous years, what you would have to do is one, two different layers, you achieve something very similar, or two, you can use Ableton's audio effect rack to split the signal like so. Um, but if you want to do it all inside of Serum 2, now you can do it. Now, let me show you guys some other techniques here. We can also use a stomp box. Put this around. 390. Now I can also apply an EQ after that and clean it up separate from the bass. So if I do this, I'm not cutting the lows. The lows are still there. So now I can process this top part of the bass and vice versa. Yeah, I can also add this envelope here so that we hit the initial part of the bass with hard distortion and save the rest. And it's not a fucking chorus. See what happens, bro. The world, we only live once. Now if I remove it. Okay. So these are all very cool techniques to use on a bass. That's going to be the main idea of a song. Slides. Now, is this going to be the solution to all your problems? No. But is it going to be the solution to some of your tracks where it's very bass heavy, very bass dependent, and you just want looking for that extra different thing? Yes, because one of the things I learned from a great mixing engineer that when you're doing a mix for a song, you always want one thing that's pretty out there that catches the attention. And this could be it for a song that is very bass heavy, that is very bass dependent. So this is one of the techniques I'm definitely going to be using for the next sounds I have for you guys. But if you learned anything, you can head over to evilsounds.com where you can find all of my sound design work. These are some of the top producers like James Hype, Hardwell, David Guetta, Alesso now, baby. We got Nicky Romero. We got Mal P in the house. We got... 
West End. We got Biscuits. Uh, we got Umek. We got Sam Wolf, a -Lock. Kush, but most importantly, hopefully you, that I'm trying to help with these sounds to make music production easier and help you make music that you can play out and have people go wild to. It's a very rewarding thing for me. And again, I'm very thankful that you guys allow me to do that every single day. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time for another video. You take care and much love.